Hello people, I am Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new lecture on C programming. So what are we doing today? We are learning switch case structure. Now switch case is a very good alternate to if and else. We have learned if else. We have done some team programs on it including that big menu driven program. Remember you accept two inputs from the user, you create a calculator menu. You ask the user whether he or she wants to add, subtract, multiply, divide etc. So what happens? You take the choice from the user, then you check each option. If it's 1, that means add. If it's 2, that means subtract. So there you have a very complex if and else structure. Something like that is an ideal candidate to be replaced by a switch case structure. So today I'm going to teach you how to replace that complex set of if and else by a simple switch case with the advantage that tomorrow if there is another menu option to be added, or a set of options to be added, it becomes so much easier when you make those modifications in your switch case statement as compared to modifying the whole if and else, which becomes a pain. You will see that as we see the example. So what are we learning today? First, I'll show you what is switch case, the, the basic syntax of it. We'll take a simple programming example and understand how it works. Then we'll do a menu driven calculator and do its various runs. And we're going to replace your if else with switch case. And then finally, some theory about switch case, which you have to know some basic rules and the advantages and drawbacks of both switch case compared to if and else. All right. So these are the things we are learning today. As always, you want to learn the whole lecture. You want to enjoy learning the subject. Come on my website, bharatacharyaeducation.com. The link is given down below. Uh, Register yourself as a user. You'll see a bunch of courses over there. Select this course of C programming. This is, I think, our 10th lecture so far. So yeah, we've done, we've reached quite, uh, we've done quite a lot so far. There's lots more to happen. Immediately after this, the next lecture will be loops. That will show you first how to create a basic loop, then working with for loop, while loop, repeat, do while loop, and various types, adding more conditions to them and so on. And then we'll take this further ahead using functions, arrays, etc. So a lot more is to come, but a lot has already happened. So don't wait for all the lectures to be ready and then start learning because then it'll become a big mountain to climb. Get on with it. There are so many students already learning the course. Get on with it and get the fear of programming out of your head. Okay. Hope to see you there. Wish you all the best. Do well. We are going ahead.